Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey everybody. This guy here, he's Dustin. I'm the bourbon guy, allegedly. This hey, is Keith. I've been accused of being a music guy from time to time. That's what they accuse you of. They do. Well, well you do, mostly. Yeah, it's mostly me. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to talk to you all about some bourbon and some country music, I think. Yeah, it's kind of what we do here. That's kind of what we do. Oh. We got a bribe. All right. You guys knew it was a bribe. <laughs> We've told you. Wild <laughs> Turkey, 101. We've had this on the channel. Uh, have we had it? One time. time. We have? All right. Yeah, we'll see how it stacks up against the last time. Hey, you know, uh, this is something about bourbons and whiskeys in general. True. They will hit you different pretty much every time based on what your diet's been for the past three days. Uh, like, all these things affect your palate. What you've had to eat in the last ten minutes. Right. Uh, it can range. Right? right. And we were just at a friend's house having very, very sweet desserts. And... <laughs> then this is going to be super... Allegedly, then, this will be super peppery. It, it sh Yeah, usually. So, we've learned... Uh, we, we did... Uh, several sessions where we recorded several videos and before doing hand we had like thermonuclear Indian food. Nom nom nom. So good. But every whiskey we tasted that night came across as super sweet. I'm getting messages from LinkedIn. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. Did you know the car wash is trying to get a hold of you? <laughs> Almost always. But anyway, so... Uh, Given that we've just had something sweet, I'm wondering if wild turkey, which normally comes across as a very sweet bourbon, uh, is it does to me. What? Yeah, it always. It's like black pepper through and through. No, that other stuff, McConaughey swill. No, this is also black pepper. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll see. see. It, it's been a while, so we'll see. I don't know what is going on. I don't even have my knife on me tonight. Thank you, sir. He is unprepared. He I am, is a bad I, boy you scout. Have, you have no idea how pissed I was when I got here and realized I didn't have my knife because I used it on the Christmas tree today. Right. Don't know when this will drop, but uh, it is... No, but you bring that back over here. Yeah, but that was a bad luck. Right. Yeah, I hand it to me. Right. right. I handed it to you. Yeah. All right. Um, so, uh, this is a bribe. I, I don't know if, if you if melody. you mentioned it's melody. The melody sent us a bribe. Sent us this bribe. Yeah. Um, and the song that came requested with it is Toby Keith's Trailer Hood. Have we had any Toby Keith on the channel? Yeah. Couple. Did? Yeah. Couple. Did we like it? Yeah. We got yelled at for one of them a lot because his he, uh, stick a booter in their ass line we talked during. Oh, right, right. Everybody got all mad about that. I not, thought that was funny. They were not too happy about us talking during <laughs> that part specifically. We committed sacrilege yeah. by, yeah, I, I forgot about that. We, we did talk. We did get chewed out. So let's check out this Toby Keith tune and, and see what we get here. What? Hello, okay. Kay. <laughs> Did you get a Mr. Rogers vibe off that those first guitar few lists? notes? <laughs> yeah, it was definitely odd. Yeah, all okay. right. Well, we'll back it back up. But uh, okay. It's a beautiful day in the trailer hood. Ooh, maybe that's his angle. God, that'd be great. My neighbor Carl, he lives next door. Pink flamingos on his porch. Daddy teaches driving school and he sits out by his plastic pool. He takes off his song. shirt, he opens up big coal around. on a little car beans of foam. But it takes one to know one. Music's playing up and down the block. Mostly Christian blues, country folk, and southern rock. Sound a little piece of paradise way out here in the woods. There's always something going on down in the trailer hood. Across the street, there's gambling James. Always got the poker game. If you care to try your luck, you can buy a seat for 15 bucks. You can call the raise, or you can 
and check and fold on my lock five card stud. But it's mostly Texas hold on music playing up and down the block. Mostly Chris and Blues, country folk and southern rock. It's a little piece of paradise way out here in the woods. There's always something going on down in the trailer hood. Tattoos and farmer tans, rodeo and NASCAR fans, Dallas Cowboy football on TV. When the storm starts getting bad, you hear those sirens humming. Grab a six pack and a lawn chair, there's a tornado coming. Me at that age, no, no, you were hand out my books. Well, I really do think that roof is supposed to Everybody. take it to, yeah, to like a Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Mostly Christian blues, country folk, and southern rock. It's a little piece of paradise way out here in the woods. There's always something going on down in the trailer hood. I got her made in the shade where the moonshine lemonade. There's a party going on plan. down in the trailer hood. Yeah. Four tires. Ooh, tires. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, all right, fun song. That was a fun tune. Uh, I mean, clearly intended to be just kind of lighthearted and amusing. Yeah. I uh, I could see that. Uh, I say this occasionally. Like with the Jimmy Buffett playlist. That could fit right in. It really would slide right into a Buffett playlist. You know, some of his comedic stuff, which a lot of it is. Right. Um. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just kind of, and I, I, I'm still stuck on that intro riff. Dun, 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 just trying dun, to dun, evoke, dun. you know, it it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood kind of thing. It, yeah, yeah, it went through the whole song. Yeah, I, I, I think it's that was catchy too. Uh, I man, know, that could become an earwig. Yeah, right? that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's there now. Yeah, you're, you're screwed. Um, it's there now. Uh, I'm about to drink some more of this to get that out of my head. Yeah, well, all right. So, speaking of drinking some more of this, um, dude, what you got? It's sweet, right? Yeah, you said it's supposed to be pepper. I, I did say that it's not, it's sweet. I told you, turkey is sweet. Turkey is usually savory. We just had some, <laughs> we don't know when this will drop, but it was yesterday. That we had turkey. Yeah. We, if you want to do the math, we are recording this the day after Thanksgiving. Mm Mm-hmm. But it's, it is sweet. And honestly, I don't mind it. So, it has to, it, it, it just must have something to do with the desserts we just had. It has to. Because it... I am not getting the signature wild. wild turkey. I don't even want to call it a finish because it's, in my mind, usually not worthy of that word. It is an aftertaste. They, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. And it's not there. It's completely absent. So if you want to drink wild turkey. And enjoy it. And enjoy it. Before that, you have to eat something super nuclear sweet. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. That's a neat lesson to learn off this. I had no idea. Everything else about it's the same as I always remember. Wild turkey is wild turkey. Their claim to fame is just their incredible consistency. 
it will always be the same. Apparently, unless you spoil your palate with a bunch of sweet sugary stuff. I get more oak than I'm used to in it. Yup, I'm tasting that too. Isn't that weird? Never, ever noticed it before. Uh-oh. Huh. The, the lesson here, boys Science. and girls, is the stuff you eat before you drink really affects the taste and it's of been, a whiskey. It's been at least 30 minutes. Maybe an hour. It's been about an hour. Yeah. That's interesting, dude. Wild. Turkey. So let's go through it. Sweet up front. It, it, it goes to, it, to an oaky mid. That's what I'm getting. Sweet up front. Supremely oaky mid. Finish is oak. Sweetness. And a, just a touch of caramel. I'm getting a touch of pepper. I do get a touch of rye back there. I'm not getting that. And I did just take a pretty big drink. Okay. Um, I'm not... Oh, well, there it is. It, it came in late. Just a touch of rye. Yep. It, no, it's coming in strong now for me. Is it hitting you? Yeah. Okay. Big drink. Big drink and took a while to set in, but it's there. Yeah. This is the most I have ever liked wild turkey. Yeah. That's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Between I've had the it both of us, plenty of times. To be honest, I've had it plenty of times and have never particularly enjoyed it until right now. That's weird, dude. Because now I could real, I could literally see myself at a like a steakhouse or something, and finishing dessert with this. Right? No shit. Because it's not expensive. No, I'm not gonna ruin uh, my palate for uh, an expensive bourbon. And it's good. Uh, After the sweet. I'm shocked to have the opinion that I do. That's that's mind blowing. To date, there's only been one wild turkey product. Not wild turkey 101. That's distillery, right? One product of theirs that I enjoyed. It was that Russell Reserve. Russell Reserve's a different level. Right. But. I don't know what to say. I, I can't complain about this. Nope. I'm, I'm shocked to be enjoying it. Melody? Good timing. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I mean, just, just good you timing. sent this one a while ago, I think, but yeah. good timing. Yeah. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what uh, country songs we need to check out, what North American whiskeys we need to try. And if you'd like, you can be like Melody and send, send, us, a us, send us a bottle. And uh, be sure to include. Please. In with the bottle, a note of who it's for, and unless you want to be anonymous, but you, we at least need a song. In the song, we're supposed to. We've got um, a bottle that came in literally today. Yep. That had no type of note or anything about it. We were able to research and find in the comments. Was that where you hunted it? Down? No, this one was in an email. So we were able to research and find it, but it, uh, it took a minute. It we, we were like, great, we're going to have to go to you guys and say, all right, who, who sent, sent us? This? <laughs> who sent us and what did you send? And what did you send and what song goes with it? Yep. And then it's months before your, your song gets recorded. You want to play the proof game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's play the proof game. I'm going to guess. Wait, let me, hold on. A pinky out, pinky out. Oh, <laughs> wait, let's just do this. Here's a hit. Oh my god, he's switching it. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm gonna guess 101 proof. Hold on, let me math it. 1 plus 0 plus 1. Yeah, that's right. I'm good at this. Till next time, guys. See ya. <laughs>